Hi YouTube family. So today, as the title told you, I'm going to be going over a whole lot of newness at the drugstore. Keep in mind that I haven't done a what's new at the drugstore video for since way before my surgery and I'm like two months out from my surgery. So I do have quite a bit of new things here that I'm excited to share with you. Some things I've tested a ton. And then there's other things that I haven't tested quite so much. So I'll make sure I let you guys know whether or not it's really something I've tested. I did want to kind of acknowledge, yes, the big Texas hair. I swear I should have been from there because I love big hair. But anyway, let's get right into the video. Okay, from NYX, there's their Born to Glow uh, Naturally Radiant Foundation. So I got this one. I've worn it like three times. I really love it. It does have a bit more radiance than another one, but the coverage is really good on it. The wear time on it is not as long as I would like, but it's really hot right now and really muggy. And so I'm finding that almost no foundations are holding up really, really well during that, especially not one that's glowy. So I'm kind of reaching for ones that are a little bit more matte. So I like this, but I would really like to keep testing it further for the months when it cools down because I think it's going to be a really beautiful foundation in its you know radiance and how it just makes you give gives you that little bit of glow one that I know has been on the market for quite some time so it's just new to me is from hard candy and this is their glamouflage concealer full coverage concealer 16 hour wear it says um I felt like this one was really good coverage i felt like i could make it work but i felt like it was a tiny bit too heavy tiny bit too cakey for my aging skin that is on the normal to dry side so i'm going to test that one out for you too i'm just trying to pair things up and figure things out a little bit so that i can make sure that i get a really good review and a really good video for you but um this one is good if you're oily gals you might really like this and then from makeup revolution one of my favorite companies at the drugstore is the revolution conceal and hydrate radiance foundation with hyaluronic acid okay so i got this and i also got the concealer the conceal and hydrate concealer I really like them both. I can't wait to do a wear test for you guys on these because um, even I, I am wearing this one today. I'm wearing the foundation today. I do have a different concealer on. But I'm really excited to share this with you because the other one was really a nice foundation, but I felt like it was as heavy as the Urban Decay All Nighter. And that's just a little bit too heavy and a little bit too cakey the older I get. I used to love it when it first came out. But as I get older and things get drier and things, you know, so I just feel like it's a little bit too cakey. But this one, I feel like they just did a really good job on. So I'm really excited about both of these products. This is a great concealer as far as not making you look like you're super dry under your eyes. And it just, it doesn't like accentuate any texture, but it gives me the coverage I need because I have extremely deep dark circles. And the other one was a bit too drying. I had kind of shied away from wearing that one at all, except for when it was really muggy because I didn't have to set it then. So for me, this new duo has been really good. I also got, yes, this is still in the package because I have not had a chance to try this one out, but this is the Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer and it says contains hyaluronic acid, collagen, antioxidants, and peptides. Okay, I really wanted to try this because I wanted to see if it was going to be like the Laura Geller, the real deal, or if it was going to be like the Tarte Creaseless. And guess what, guys? It is. I find that this is such a good coverage, but I can even just put it on like right there. Hopefully, you guys are going to be able to see that. And it, I mean, I barely put a, a little teeny tiny dot on there and I can tell how good of coverage it's gonna be. Now the real test will come with whether or not it's gonna crease because it says that it's creaseless. So that's really what I'm looking for. Like I said, I haven't had a chance to try this yet, but I'm going to. Revolution okay. Pro also came out with a couple of their powders. They came, up, came out with the loose powder and the pressed powder. I really have been enjoying this. Super duper fine, you guys. It's it's almost that same fineness that I feel when I feel the hourglass setting powder, the, the veil setting powder. 
it really is a nice powder. It has a great delivery system. It has the sifter. So I really do like this, but I don't like it for the under eyes. I feel like it's way too drying for my under eyes. It makes them look too dry like a desert. And so I haven't been liking that at all as far as that goes, but I like to set the rest of my face with it because it's been so muggy. Now, what I've been doing with it though, because any of you that have normal to dry skin, realize that if you get too much powder on, you're gonna get to looking cakey. What I have been doing a lot lately is just picking a little bit up on my beauty blender and then you know, making sure there's not a ton on there, tapping it off a little bit. And either I'll start on my neck or you know, down low, be able to kind of shear it because I don't want a ton on. And then just really you know, pat it around my face with my damp beauty blender. And it's been working so good with that. So I do like that one, but keep in mind that it is going to mattify you quite a bit. They have a new blush out. This one is one of the colors that I, one of the only colors I could get, but it's only $6. Um, I will say that when I stick my finger in here, this does feel a little bit powdery. This is probably, and it's really bright. So if you have, um, if you love the pinks, it's definitely a bright pink. It will sheer out very nicely. Um, I will say though that it got a tiny bit patchy on me. So I'm not super impressed with the blush. Um, they do have some highlighters that are like this and I felt like they were a little bit, let me show you close up. I felt like they were a little bit too drying. So this is kind of along those same lines. This is called Blusher Reloaded and it is in Rose Kiss. And then this is their new bronzer reloaded. So this is Take a Vacation. Sorry if I misspoke there because it might not be new to everybody like it is to me. So this is a pretty bronzer. I like it better than I liked the blush. I think that the color might be just a little bit too yellow for me. So I might have to get a bit, a little bit of a different color. Again, this is Take a Vacation. So I liked the product itself, but the color was just a tiny bit off for me. I didn't realize I had so much makeup revolution, but this is called Eye Glisten. So it's two-sided liquid eyeshadow. And so one side is just like a metallic color, um, just super high shine. And then the other side has tiny bit of particles of glitter in it. Now I will say that that side that has a little bit of glitter. So down here is the sheen part or the metallic. And then up here is the little tiny bit of glitter. You can't really even see it. But I will say that the top one with the little bit of glitter in it, it does have to be built up some because you can't just swipe it across and it not be a little bit patchy. So I really like the metallic part. I've worn it a ton just on you know the center of my eyes to give a little bit of glisten. But I think this is a really good product as far as its lasting power, but you might get a little bit frustrated with the product that does have a little bit heavier metallic to it because you have to wait and then build it up, wait and then build it up. So. I like this. I think that they did a really good job on the one side, but the other side was not one that I was like overjoyed for. Okay, also from NYX. Gosh, this is the NYX and Makeup Revolution show. Bear with me, Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Radiant Perfecting Primer. Okay, I wasn't expecting this to be a primer that was like high glow, but it is. And I, it's okay, it's not the greatest primer, but basically it's not gonna do anything for you but give you a glow. So there it is on my hand, you can see the sheen of it. I did use a quite a bit on there, that was enough for like a face and a half that I used. But I can tell you right now that it doesn't do like anything as far as keep your makeup on through the day or do the pore filling or anything like that. It's just for radiance. So it would be really good to maybe mix into a matte foundation um, if you wanted to do that. But this one wasn't my favorite. Okay, from Essence, this is the You Better Work Fixing Spray. It says it's gym proof. So it, ha and it says it's anti-shine. So this is a very mattifying, you know, hold your makeup on all day primer that does have alcohol in it. So beware of that. Um, I wasn't highly impressed with this as compared to some other things that I've used before. If you sweat a lot, if you're a very active and you notice that, you know, even those personal summers for menopause that we get, um, even those, it will last through that. So it is good as far as that goes, but I have noticed on the days that it's been cooler and I've used this, that it was just a little bit too drying for me. So that's just a heads up on that one. If you're oily, you might really love it. This one is from e.l.f. and this is 
is their um, primer for lips. So this is just something that you're supposed to be able to paint on your lips, outline your lips, fill in your lips, and then hold your lipstick on longer. Do I feel like it does that? No, but I do feel like it does good on, if you have you know pretty good lip lines, that it helps not have it bleed. And I do, I, and I do appreciate that about it. So this one for me, even though it's not a necessity, it really has helped that problem as far as when I'm wearing glosses, when I'm wearing, you know, a little bit more emollient lipstick, it's really good for that. And then I also got from e.l.f. This is the Cooling Under Eye Refresh. It has a steel ball on the end of it. And basically it's just kind of a roll on serum or I don't exactly know what's in here, but it's just kind of a roll on that you use underneath your eyes. So when I've woken up with puffy eyes from whatever the day before, too much salt or a good ball or whatever you wanna talk about, this really does help. I'll put this on, let it set for a while. It helps with those under eye bags and then I'll go in with one of my favorite products. I did put this in last month's uh, monthly favorites, but I'm gonna mention it again here too because it is fairly new. This is from Catrice and it is the Liquid Camouflage Under Eye Primer. You guys, this is so hydrating and it is so lovely. I just, I really, really have come to love this product. You just put it on underneath your eyes. I do it as, you know, the step as I'm doing all my other primers and you just let it sit there and it is very, very hydrating. And it's not like it hydrates and then disappears like some um, things that you put on. It really seems to last quite a while. And even, you know, rubbing it on here right now, I can feel how hydrating it is. And so I have been in love with this and I hope that they never Never can discontinue it because this is a really good good product and it's not a lot of money and I would highly recommend that if you have crepey cakey under eyes that look where you get so much creasing I get creasing anyway but this helps to reduce that a little bit and plump it up a little bit so that it keeps it at a minimum so really enjoying that okay last two things are two concealers and both of them I have liked, but I do have a favorite. So this is the new Super Stay Full Coverage Long Wear Eye Concealer from Maybelline. This is a lot like their foundation. I felt like it did a good coverage. Um, it's a little bit thinner product than I'm used to, but it, the, being thinner, helps not create lines, which is a good thing. And it will build up. So if you have really bad under eye circles like I do, then you can go ahead and you can put that first coat on and just wait a second. So it's better to do thin layers with your concealer than to do, you know, one really thick layer. So, you know, wait a second and then put another layer on if you need it. You might find that that little tiny bit you don't need. At just a tiny drop goes a long way and it wears really, really good. I don't think that, you know, the Super Stay line that says it's like 16, 24 hours. I don't think it's that, but it is really long wearing and really good in the summer too. This one, I don't have to set. I can already feel that it's kind of set itself down on there. I don't have to set that one. It is, a, again, a little bit drier of a formula, but using the Catrice underneath it really does help. And then lastly, this is from Juvia's Place and this is their new concealer. I wanted to get my hands on this when they launched the foundation, but I didn't. This is amazing, you guys. This is what I have on today, and it's what I've been wearing over and over again. It's a lot like the Maybelline one as far as um, being thin like that, but this one covers so, so well. And when I first got it, I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be way too yellow for me. You can see almost on my hand that it looks like it's almost too yellow, but look at the coverage on that. And that was like the same amount as right here on the Maybelline. It, the coverage is fantastic. And I liked that I got this color, this particular color, and this is 20. So the color for me turned out to be really good because it had a lot of the cancellation properties that I like in a concealer. So really have been loving that one. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy it. Don't forget to please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I do appreciate that. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here as a part of our little family. Thank you for watching today. I appreciate your time. You guys have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my very next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.